Good evening and welcome to Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum, home of Monster Movie Night. And, of course, home to myself, Bobby Gum Monster, internet horror host, and my co-host and pal, Boris the Buzzard. <laughs> We're back again, back again, to take you into the tales of the unknown. Ah, the tales of monsterdom. The tales of thrills and chills and suspense and mystery and all the wonderful things the dark. <laughs> and tonight, my friends, tonight, Boris and I have a wonderful, wonderful classic, or soon to be classic. It's actually a brand new movie, monster movie, a little bit of comedy dashed in like the old days, made in black and white. It was made by an independent filmmaker as well as a fellow horror host. That's right, Miss Raina Young, a.k.a. Miss Misery. One moment, please. And I will. Ah, here we are. As you can see, the most beautiful young lady and very accomplished in the making of horror and or monster movies, and tonight's tale, or film, I should say, is called Monster of Garden Gate. Now, listen, that's, that's this, the, the uh, title of it has just got to be a winner right there, don't you think? I think so. So, Boris, are you ready? Are you ready? Have your snacks, turn the lights down low, and let us get going for Monster of Garden Gate. Roll em. Now, Marianne, let's go over this again. Okay. Well, um, I don't know what more to tell you other than it, it, it was a monster. Just a big, giant monster. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you hit your head and you might not be remembering things too clearly. Uh, why don't I come back some other time and ask you some questions then? No, I'm fine. You can ask me all the questions you need now. I'll, I'm fine. All right then, uh, so what did it look like? Um, it was very tall, uh, hairy, and it had these, these claw hands, like sharp nail, veiny, big hands. Mm. I don't know how else I can describe it. Like, uh, like the wolf man? No. Or, um, uh, maybe more like a Bigfoot or something like that. No. Detective, are you... are you making fun of me? What? No, 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 no. Of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, go on, please. I was feeding the ducks, and I came across a bloody body part in the park. And when I looked over, this thing was growling at me, basically. 
I, I stepped back, hit a rock, and I fell in the water. And I woke up in the hospital. That's all I remember. And why didn't it kill you? I don't know. But... I have a theory. That the reason why it didn't kill me is because it doesn't like water. A monster who hates water. I mean, why else am I still alive? Hmm. Maybe. That's a possible theory, I guess. Well, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Thank you for meeting with me and answering my questions. Very much appreciate it. And if there's anything else I need to ask you, I'll be sure to let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. John? It's Simmers. Listen, I need to talk to you right away. Alright, meet you in Pacifica then? By the piers? Alright, I'll see you there. Alright Zimmers, so what is this all about that you're asking me to come all the way to the edge of the Pacific Ocean? I like watching the tides, and I need your help finding Mr. B. Mr. B, you better know your P's and Q's about what you're doing. He doesn't particularly favor private dicks. What is it you're after anyway? What are you looking for? That's my business. I've got the money to make it worth your while. Well, I always like dough. But don't tell them I'm the one who gave this to you. I like to breathe. Don't worry. You worry about big foot, not big mouths. You know, this looks to me like a case of a flat foot looking for big foot. So good luck to you and good luck to Mr. B. I think you're going to need it.
I was wondering when you were going to show up. Of course. If there's a monster, there's me. Get you a beer. Didn't know what you'd like. Uh, this will do. So, where have you been lately? Let's just say I have Nessie's head in the backseat of my car. <laughs> wow. Really? Are you serious? What's going on? I've got a monster problem in Golden Gate Park. I need your help. <laughs> Fantastic. Good luck with that. I can't deal with this on my own. I really need your help. And what's in it for me? Uh, I'll tell you where Bigfoot is. Really? You don't think I know where he's at? Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. How much do you want? How much you got? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. We'll discuss that after I kill the thing. All right. I need you to meet me tomorrow at 19th Avenue by the park. That's where he's been sighted the most. Fine. I'll be there. But you have to excuse me. I got a head to mount on my wall. <laughs> Thanks for the beer. Cheers. Yeah, Simmers? Yeah, B. No, 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 no. No, you need to come out to the park. I need to meet you over here, over here by the north side. Yeah, I know I'm running late. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, we got some, uh, we got something pretty nasty here. What are you looking at? I think you better come down here and check it out. What are you, what are you, bodies? What, like limbs, heads? All right. All right. Thank you. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah. Okay. We got to clean this up now. Okay. We'll see you soon, Simmers. All right, settle down. It's going to be okay. Just settle down. Moron. This is what you wanted to show me, huh? Yep. My God. Yeah, it's quite a mess. If you have to pardon the pun, it's really got my goat. <laughs> uh, B, uh, nobody can see this. We have to clean this up. Well, hey, buddy. Good luck to you. B. Have fun. B, come on. There's more than one body here. The monster must be bringing parts back here to eat. I wonder if this is his hideout or lair. B, wait up a minute. So what kind of evidence should we actually be looking for? I mean, other than the body parts. <laughs> <laughs> Body parts. <laughs> uh, well, I think we should start in this area. Try to look around, see if we can find any other body parts or any such items that the monster could have left behind. Possibly like shrubbery, branches broken, anything that shows any signs, any footprints. You know, that's, uh, yeah, it's quite an area.
Hey, B, it's Simmers. Listen, I need you to come with me to talk to Mary Ann again tonight. Can you make it? All right, I'll see you there. What do I owe this pleasure? We'd like to ask you a few more questions about what happened. Questions about what? I've already told you everything I knew, and you My water theory. Water theory? Yeah, well, since I fell in the water, I have this theory that the monster's scared of water. I mean, why else would he let me live? Well, that's an interesting theory, but it's different with monsters. I never met a monster that hates water. Well, it's, it's just a water theory. Is there anything else you can remember about that? No, I've told you everything I know. All right, thank you again. Wait. Let me go with you guys. To hunt this thing. I cannot allow that to happen. Why not? I'm not taking any of you to the park with me. I kill monsters, I'm not a babysitter. Just listen to me for one second, okay? I have a gut feeling about this monster. I mean, everyone and everything has weakness, right? Look, I'll... I'll think about it, okay? Wait. Just... Be careful, okay? She has a point, you know. What? The water. What a joke. It's a monster. Why would a monster be afraid of water? A monster's not afraid of anything. Yeah, well, where did this thing come from? We don't know anything about it. Monsters don't need a motive, nor do they have a history. They're created from it. toxics and explosions and from outer space. Toxic? Yeah. In the park, not too long ago, the city was working on something, and then there was a, a spill, a toxic spill. They had to close the whole place for like a week while they cleaned it up. Well now, genius, now you know where it came from. That still doesn't explain why it's afraid of water. 
It's a monster. It's just a monster. You people are crazy. Hello? Detective. Hi. How'd you get my house number? <laughs> oh, really? Nothing gets by you, does it? <laughs> well, what can I help you with? A date? <laughs> Isn't it against, like, detective law to ask out a witness? Okay, I'll think about it. Al, actually, you know what? I've got a better idea. How about the day you catch and kill that monster? I'll go out on a date with you. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon, detective. Bye. <laughs> So, how long have you been doing this? None of your business. This crocodile Dundee, you want his hat back? I don't know, Inspector Gadget, does he? <laughs> Did you hear that? We better go.
Simmers! B! Damn it. We lost him. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you see the size of that thing? The size of that thing? You gotta be kidding me. Really? Did you see how short that thing is? I've dealt with monsters bigger than that. You gotta be kidding me. The size of that thing. I'll show you the size of a thing. If you wanna see a size of a thing, I'll give you a size of a thing. Hello? Yes. Yes. I'm out here right now. I told you we just need some more time. We're working on it. Let us just give us one more day. One more day, please. Just. All right. All right? Damn it. It's the FBI. They want to move in on this thing right now. Uh, no. No way. There's no way. I don't deal with cops. I don't work with cops. I don't even want to be around cops. I do this my way. This is my thing. This is for me. If they come in on this, this thing might never get caught. They, they think they're dealing with a serial killer. <laughs> serial killer? <laughs> Monsters don't kill serial. Are you serial? I mean, serious? They think they're looking for a human being. They have no idea what they're dealing with. Well, I know what I'm dealing with. I understand this thing. I know what it thinks. I know what it feels. I know where it's coming from. I hope you do, oh, we, we have to catch this thing right away. We have to move. We don't have much time. All right, well, let's get on it. Ah, there's my hat. Hello? Hi, could you please put me through to extension 427? Thank you. Hello? Is this Oscar Benjamin? Yes. Hi, my name's Marianne, and do I have a story for you? Wonderful film so far, eh, Boris? Exactly. A wonderful film, wonderful actress, wonderful hostess, Miss Raina Young, a.k.a. Miss Misery. Ah, she's doing an excellent job of fear. Fantabulous, fantabulous filming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, indeed. You know, speaking of monsters, since tonight's film is called Monster of Garden Gate, I'd like to show you a little... New exhibit, I guess you could say. It was also a birthday present that I uh, received from a good friend of ours. You've heard me talk about him, Mr. Gary Marshall. And uh, he's always getting me wonderful, wonderful uh, monster exhibits for the, uh, for the uh, museum here. And this was one. He knew it was one of my favorites. He always does. <laughs> and we want to thank him for it. The Wolfman. <gasps> but not the Lon Chaney version. Oh, no, 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 no. It is the new version. Benicio Del Toro, that's right, it, as his, want to help me there, Boris, hold it, hold it up here with the beak, let's just take a little look and get it up here where we can see uh, that a wonderful job that this person did who made it, Mezco Toys, and it's a 12 inch figure, scale figurine, um, they put a lot of blood, and actually the clothes that you see in there, are made of real cloth. The pants, the shirt, I'm not sure about the blood, possibly. <laughs> anyway, this is one of our new exhibits here at the museum, and if you want to see it closer and in person, you can always stop by Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum, the little haunted house on the hill. <laughs> so, I want to thank you, Gary. I want to thank you all for stopping and seeing us. 
Come on back soon, okay? All right, let's go back to the film. Monster of Garden Gate. Garden Gate? Sorry, Golden Gate. I'll get it right, I'm sorry. And let's go. Simmers, this is B. Hey, this is kind of a surprise. Normally you pick up your phone every time I call. <laughs> well, I guess that phone's not glued to your hand as it normally is. Anyway, give me a call, and I'll call you back if I don't hear from you. All right. Hello, my name is Melissa Thompson and I'm with Channel K28 News. Today I am in Golden Gate Park as there have been some sightings of a monster out here on the loose. We are trying hold to investigate. Oh, wait, hold on. No, there's no monster out here. Excuse I don't know what you me. people are thinking. Excuse there's me, but I am trying to do the news. Hey, uh, just look, cut, there's cut, no please. monster here just in the cut. Hello, Simmers. I'm calling again. Come on, pick up, pick up. Simmers, it's B. Give me a call. Call me back as soon as you can. You aren't gonna believe what just happened. Ah. Marianne, uh, how are you? Hi, Marianne. Uh, you want a flower? I just wanted to check and see how you're being. Oh. Well, here goes nothing. Hi, Detective. Hey, Marianne. You're so late. I, um, well, I, uh, Marianne, I don't want to wait. I came here to ask you out tonight, right now. 
Really? Yeah. Is that for me? Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Good, good. Um, okay. Uh, let me just go get my jacket. All right. That was easier than I thought it would be. Simmers, it's B. Hey, hey man, where are you gonna pick up my call? Come on, you gotta call me back. I'm getting a little tired of this. What? Idiot. Simmers! Hey, is this you? Simmers? Hey, hello? Did you, did he just hang up on me? Oh my god, ref bastard! Hey, it's B. How you doing, baby? What are you doing tonight? Free? Right on. See you soon. I, uh, had a really good time tonight. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so, um, I guess, uh, call me. Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Night. Yeah, good night. Good night. Forget something, Detective? Yeah, I did. Wow, well, uh, <laughs> that was a good night. <laughs> yeah, good night. Bye. Hey, B. It's Simmers. Listen, I know I should... Hello? B? <laughs> Jerk. And now he returns my call. Who was that? <clears throat> that was my wife. Your wife? You're married? Yeah, so... Oh my god! You know what? <clears throat> Get out of here! Uh... Leave! I don't want you here! comfortable where I am. Uh, I don't think so. This is my place, and I want you to get your ass out of here. I didn't know you were married. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, well. Yeah, get out of here. This just in. Apparently, there's a monster in Golden Gate Park. Now, an eyewitness is coming forward claiming that we may have our very own Bigfoot. Well, kids, I don't know about you, but I think this sounds like a whole lot of BS to me. Well, that's it for uh, local news, and now let's get back to some music. Oh, my God, B. Listen to me. I need to see you tonight. This is getting out of hand. 
God. Yes, John, I, yes, I'm reading it right now. I, I don't know how they found out about it. Marianne must have talked to someone and it, it I, I don't know how we're gonna cover it up. Just, just, just give me some time. Just give me some time to work on this, all right? I'll talk to Mr. B tonight. I'll figure something out. All right, all right, all right, okay. What is it? Take a look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, really? Panic? Jeez, panic. This is serious. Ah. This is front page news here. Monster in the park, mauled victims, people scared. How the hell did this get out? Hey, you know what? I've been around the world, buddy, all right? I've dealt with small monsters, hairy monsters, slimy monsters, even aliens. So this is nothing. This thing I could kill. I could destroy it. He's a goner. Not the point. People are gonna get panicked about this. Oh, let them We panic. have to keep this under wraps. Yada, yada, yada. How did they even find out about this monster? Did you tell them about this? I would never say a word about anything. This is my own deal, my own confidence, my own way of life. I'm gonna kill the thing. And it must have been Marianne. Unbelievable. B, we have to take care of this. We have to do something about this yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we'll, Right now. We'll deal with it when the time comes. In the meantime, how about you skidoo out of my car? Try to take this seriously. I'm taking it more serious than you are, pal. Get out of my car. Fine. Out, 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 out. See you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, we yada, need yada. to take care of this See now. You. Okay. Bastard. Right. I know. I know. B. Listen. Yes, I know. The park, one hour from now. I'll be there. Just listen. I need to talk to Marianne first, all right? Just let me take care of this, and I'll be there. Explain this. I don't know. Because I don't know, and B doesn't know, and you're the only one who knew about this monster. Yeah, it was me. I did it. I told them. I talked to them. Marianne, what are you thinking? This is going to cause a panic. The people have the right to know what's going on in their city. They need to protect themselves. Look, I understand how you feel. We just need a little bit more time. We're gathering evidence. We're tracking him right now. We're gonna catch this thing. And this isn't helping. Well, I thought it was helping. Helping the people know what's going on in their city. I wasn't protective. Simmers, I almost died. But you need to let B and I work on this. Really? And how long is that gonna take you? Just stand aside and let us deal with it, all right? Do you I'll understand? stay out of it. How's that? Go get out. Stay out of it, my ass. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right. How'd it go with Marianne? Good. Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know what? I'm hungry. Why don't we take a little lunch break? All right, sounds good. Um, I'm just gonna go grab something to eat then. Be right back. All right, sounds great. Well, I'm gonna go over here and look for a place to sit down.
exclusive sneak peek of season four of Movie Massacre? Brought you a lunch. What? Call it a day, or you want to keep on hunting? Well, if we haven't found any more evidence, we might just have to try again tomorrow. All right. Well, I guess we're done for the day. This is Melissa Thompson with Channel 28 News. Breaking news today, we just received some footage of something going on at Golden Gate Park. It is very strange. Let's watch that footage now. Okay, guys, family picture. How does this thing take a picture? Okay, get ready. Cheese. <laughs> I have never in my seven years working at this station seen anything like it. That is definitely proof to all of us that something is going on in the park. What is it? We don't know for sure yet, but we're going to investigate. This is Melissa Thompson with Channel 28 News. Yes, Mr. Hughes, yes, I've been trying to get in touch with you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that day of the spill in the park. All right, all right, uh-huh. Listen, okay, let's just start from the beginning. So, you were telling me that one of your co-workers was caught in the blast. I... What do you mean? It was a homeless man? And his cat? I see. That, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this helps me. Thank you. B, where are you? need to talk. Yeah, I know we were just together. I need to see you again. I got some information. Listen, I know something about the monster now. It's very important. Just, just let me explain when I get there, all right? Where are you? All right, I'll be there in 10 minutes, all right? Wait for me.
Listen to me. I just got off the phone with a guy who was there in the park working the day of the explosion. Now, he said to me that the victim was a homeless man with his cat. And I was thinking that that might explain why this thing is afraid of water, you know? It's his cat, right? Cats hate water, and it just makes sense. Well, I've seen stranger things happen. All right, well, I mean, if the water theory here proves true, if this thing is afraid of water, then what do you want to do next? You know, I was sort of thinking and pondering the idea of maybe we could use Marianne as bait. We could actually lure the monster out of the park. Use her as bait? I don't know, B. That sounds like it could be pretty dangerous. Well, Simmers, what are you waiting for? Call her. All right, all right. It's just... I still think this is a bad idea. Yeah, well, while you're talking to her, I'm gonna go outside and have a cigarette here. Hello? Detective? Hey, uh... Just wanted to call and say I'm sorry. Well, apology is not necessary. No, it's fine, I understand you were upset. I actually can't talk about this right now. I'm heading out. I'm going to the park. What? Why? Detective, you and Mr. B don't believe me. The world probably doesn't believe me. I'm going to prove you wrong. Nope. I'm, I'm not talking to you anymore. I have to go. Stay right there. I'm on my way over. I will not be here. Oh. We'll see about that. Bye. B, we gotta get to Golden Gate Park right away. I think Marianne's about to do something stupid. What? I thought we were using her as bait. I didn't even get a chance to talk to her about that. Let's just go. All right, let's get out of here. Step on it. We've got to get there. Well, it's obviously I'm not a magician. I can't make these cars just move out of the way there, Simmers, okay? Just chill out, Detective. We'll get there as soon as we can. We've got to get there, B. I don't know what Marianne's going to do, but I'm sure it's something stupid. If we're not there, just... Marianne's going to be just fine. No, did she say where she was going? No. I think she came out here to try and prove her theory. <laughs> what, the water theory? <laughs> wow. Look, it's not important right now. What's important is... Wait. Oh my god. B, we gotta move. <laughs> What is your problem? That is the last time you will touch me ever again. All right. Now listen, B. Just take it easy. 
take it easy. Is that what you want me to take it easy? Detective, look, I know you miss Marianne right now. I know it's a great loss, but she sacrificed herself for what she was supposed to do. It was in the plan. Now, if you want to kill this thing with me, I got some stuff in the garage where we'll pick up some weapons. All right, you want to do this, B? That's fine, but no more bullshit, no more games, no more of your jokes. We get these weapons, and we kill this thing. You understand? Get in the car. Almost there. Simmer down, Simmers. We're gonna get this thing. We're gonna do it right. We'll do it at sunrise tomorrow morning. Well, Simmers, take your pick. Let's hunt. Look, Summers. I don't think this weapon thing is gonna work. I think we're gonna have to use the water theory. What, now you're on board with the water theory? Well, I've been thinking about it. I think Marianne was right. I think the water thing. I mean, I've seen some strange stuff, man. And I tell you, this could be a possibility. I think the water might just take out this creature. Well, what do you suggest we do now? All we have is the weapons. <laughs> Hey, I got something for you to look at. I think you're gonna like this. You sure this is gonna work? We'll see. It's time to get even. What are you talking about? Nothing. Hey, B. Have you noticed the monster has boots on? Well, it was a human at one point. When we kill this thing, you mind if I tape those? Those are nice boots. You gotta be kidding me. Really? What? Let's do this thing. Where am I? Really? Worth the shot. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, he's getting us good. No, he's not getting us at all. 
another situation. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Wonderful film, wonderful film, Boris. Don't you think this is this young lady has a future? Future not only in horror hosting, but in film making, monster filmmaking. I'm telling you, these young people like this is going to be the salvation and the savior of horror hosting of the modern 21st century. That's right, because more and more public domain films are being uh, grabbed up. Uh, being used over and over and over. So, with these wonderful films that these new people are making, we as hosts, myself included, are able to show these brand new films to you, uh, no charge, free of cost, and something that you've never seen before. But hopefully, we'll watch over and over again. <laughs> and I want to thank Miss Misery, a.k.a. Raina Young, for allowing us to use her film, upon our wonderful show here at Monster Movie Night. I want to thank Gary again for that wonderful present that you saw earlier, and I want to thank you most especially for watching us time and time and time 
over and over and ag over again and again and again, and hopefully even more so into the future. So, it is that time again. I can hear the wolves howling in the distance. It's time for a coffin nap. That's right, bedtime. So, until next time, keep screaming. Ha, 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 ha.